Now, delay is one of my favorite guitar effects, and I run delay on almost everything in, in one form or another. But something that I've been noticing, especially on my Boss uh, GX100, which, which is sort of a computer-driven uh, effects uh, platform, is that when you're specifying delay or you're trying to add delay, it wants you to specify the delay time actually in milliseconds. Now, to me, that seems weird, but it started me thinking. I wonder how long all of the regular or many of the regular time intervals are uh, that we kind of take for granted within music. So I basically set out and said, what if I specify a simple design for a pop song? Um, you know, it's going to have three verses, a chorus that gets repeated three times. It's going to have an outro. All right, that's my song. That's its structure. That gives us a pretty good uh, form for what we're doing. Uh, a chorus the, and the outro, they're going to be, say, eight bars long. We're going to have maybe a 16-bar verse. And when I add that all up, I get an 80-bar song. Okay, that's pretty cool. If I do this in 4-4 four, four time, then that's going to mean I'm going to have uh, 320 beats. If it's going to be in uh, 100 beats per minute, the song lasts for 3.2 uh, minutes. Okay, that's like 192 seconds. So there's our song. We've got some very interesting working information uh, that we can use. Now, how long is going to be a verse? i got to check my notes here because I, I did work this out and didn't uh, memorize it. So a verse is about 38 seconds long. Okay, that's reasonable. It makes sense. We would also have a chorus. That chorus is going to be about half that. It's half the number of bars. So it's going to be around 19 seconds. How long is one bar? Well, one bar is going to be, and we'll just check it again, 2.4 seconds. Well, that's interesting. We're starting to get some real dynamics on the, the ideas we're looking at. Well, let's come back into the scale of our uh, delay system. When we're setting up a delay, we're looking to repeat uh, a note. And of course, if we repeated it on the uh, beat interval, that's going to be 600 milliseconds. Oh, wow. Now we're getting down into the intervals that we're kind of looking at in the delay system. If we wanted to have an eighth note, well, an eighth note delay would be uh, half of the quarter note, so it's going to be about uh, 300 milliseconds. Sixteenth note, again, we half it again, and we're going to be down around 150 milliseconds. Well, now that's interesting. Now I've got a pretty good feel for what numbers I would want to use for my 100 beat per minute uh, song. Now I'll have to calculate it for any other beat per minute song uh, that I wanted to use, but this is giving me some real insights. But what about that evil dotted eighth note delay? You know, the one that you too likes an awful lot and, and people try to copy everywhere. Well, that just is really referring to an interval of time, uh, not just for how long we hold a note. And that time interval then is going to be an eighth note plus a half an eighth note again, which is going to be 450 milliseconds in our uh, 100 beat per minute song. Well, that's pretty cool. We've gone from things that are a little bit nebulous, maybe, to some of us, 100 beats per minute, 4-4 four, four time, things like that, right down to very usable time intervals uh, that we can plug right into our system. But it really does bring up an interesting point. When we're using delay, we are really committing to being able to play a certain beat per minute uh, rate in our song. So our timing has to actually get better for those delays to work. And that to me was a really fascinating uh, concept that I really hadn't thought of before.